Google I.O. 2017, the keynote just wrapped up. It was not an overly exciting keynote for hardware, but they announced a ton of stuff for software, which usually what these developer conferences are about. The highlight of which we got a more in-depth look at Android O coming later this summer. We don't know what the name of it's gonna be. I'm still, I'm still betting it's gonna be Oreo, but we did get some behind the scenes look at what some of the key features are going to be. So Android is kind of rethinking what multitasking is going to be. We've seen them try and do side-by-side -side screens. Now they're saying picture-in-picture -picture is the way of the future for multitasking, similar to what we say on iOS. So you're watching a video, do whatever you want. You can have a small window playing a YouTube video, and you can swipe that off the screen whenever you want. Notifications, too, are also going to be big in Android. Now you now get notification dots, which lets you know there's notification for that app. A new way to interact with the notifications. So like Instagram, for example, will have little dot next to it. Swipe down from the shade, you'll see that maybe someone liked the video or left a comment. You can interact with it, when you swipe it away, the dot will also go away. It's not like a badge counter, it's more of just like a, hey, over here, look at this, open up, open up this app. Google spent an inordinate amount of time talking about machine learning. Every time they said that, it was mostly like, like Skynet flashbacks. But they did a lot with machine learning when it comes to cut, copy and paste, oddly enough, with Android O. Oh, so if you say the most things that get copied are things like addresses, phone numbers, and email. So if you're in an email, for example, and you want to copy someone's phone number, you just go ahead and sort of tap a little no to select that whole phone number. It'll also give you shortcuts to launch the dialer, for example. Same thing for maps and addresses. Go ahead and tap on an address, it'll select the whole thing for you. And also for names, it'll I'll give you the option to pull into your contacts. If Android O is about anything, aside from probably having a delicious name, it's about battery efficiency and security. So they talked a lot about vitals, they called it, in a way that apps are not gonna be able to just drain your battery in the background. It's gonna be doing a lot of work in the background to kill a lot of that drain. So things like Snapchat, for example, Facebook, that have been huge Android battery drains should be better this generation of Android. And so the last big thing they talked about for Android O is OS improvements overall. Faster Apple, it's something Android absolutely needed. Faster boot up times from turn off. This doesn't look to be a giant new rethought version of Android, just a better version uh, of Android N. Should be faster, should be smoother, and should also be more secure. And if you want to try it, you can actually try it now. Go to android.com slash beta and give it a whirl. So the big story here is security, battery life, and some new multitasking. Hopefully by the time Android O hits, presumably the Pixel 2, Later on this summer, we'll know a lot more. But if you want to try Android O, give it a shot. It's still definitely in beta, so if you want to use it as a daily driver, for example, don't expect it to run super smooth or even have great battery life right now. But what do you guys want to see in Android O most since that list is not yet done? Give me a feature down below. I'm hoping for a more elegant backup system uh, for backup and restore. I've been waiting for Android to do that for a while. Anyway, leave a comment down below. Let me know. I'm going to go explore Mountain View and see what else is here at Google I.O. 2017.